let's talk about composition and color associations. As always, a disclaimer, this is how I do things. It doesn't mean it's the right way to do things. It just means it's a way to do them. So usually the first thing I'll do is I will determine my color associations with the themes of a piece. So as an example, growth in my mind is like a sage green. Emotion is blue. Once I've decided on what colors are telling the story, I then put my thoughts towards composition. So I recently did a commission that told the story of someone who had moved from feeling trapped in life to finding freedom and finding their joy. Because it was a very emotional internal journey, I thought blue for the emotion would be best. And then I started working on composition ideas. I knew that I wanted to include this like heavy looming feel on the bottom for that first part of their journey where they felt trapped and then have it connect upwards to a soft, gentle, joyful blue. And I know that I've got the composition right when I can feel it. I can feel that heaviness here and I can feel that journey to this gentle, soft resolution. And I'll make these little choices along the way, for example, leaving this open because closed feels like the journey's done, open feels like it's still going, which of course it is. It's part of what makes abstract so fun to me is that it's so subjective and I feel things like reaching upwards or I feel things like the open part of the piece and not everyone else does and that's fine. It's part of the beauty of abstract. 